No pandemic in the history of pandemics has caused the amount of catastrophe as this one has. What has been almost 6 million deaths since mid-2019 has caused the world and its families so much pain. This virus, scientifically named SARS-CoV-2, but more widely known as COVID-19, has taken the world by storm, consuming the lives of many. However, being the resilient species that we are, we have engineered what could be considered as the holy grail of all modern medicine, the vaccine. But what are vaccines? How do they work? And what role did they play in history and in modern society? Hi, my name is Rohan, and you are listening to the Healthy Human Podcast, where today I'm going to be educating you guys on vaccines and the importance they have on life as we know it. The act of vaccination, otherwise known as inoculation, has been around in India and China since 200 BC. However, this practice only started to become implemented more and more near the late 1700s. The smallpox epidemic had swept around the world, causing numerous cases by the day and fatalities every so often. This all changed when a man named Edward Jenner came into picture. Jenner, who was a country physician, developed the first vaccine for smallpox. The idea for the vaccine came when Jenner saw a patient who had cowpox, a more harmless version that comes from cows, and realized that he couldn't be infected by smallpox. He made the discovery that cowpox essentially served as a method of protection. This breakthrough in the field of science had been revolutionary and led to the creation of the first vaccines. This vaccine, though not completely effective, caused the death rates for smallpox to fall significantly. Jenner was heavily commended for his work, and his invention led to the development of many future vaccines for epidemics ranging from the rabies in the 1880s all the way to measles, mumps, and rubella in the mid of the 20th century. The history of vaccines is great and all, but how do they actually work? Well, it's simpler than it sounds. All viruses are historically known to contain proteins within them. These proteins and many other parts of the virus serve as signals in our immune system to act against and fight the virus. By taking a harmless protein from the virus and putting it into our body, our immune system creates antibodies, which are proteins produced by the body's immune system, to develop a response to, and to counter these harmful substances. Our antibodies will serve as a defense mechanism for the specific virus and will be able to counteract it more quickly and efficiently than ever before. But wait, there's more. Our immune system will continue to produce these antibodies for a very long time, and this will allow our body to remain protected from said virus for however long our immune system keeps up its defense. That's it. Vaccines are a lot more simpler than they sound. A lot of you may have the question of what makes you sick when you take the vaccine. The side effects of a vaccine are a more mild version of the actual virus, which is why you may feel a little sick. Consider this. When you have the flu, your immune system is weaker because your body is fighting the flu and creating a response to this. When you take the vaccine, it's a similar process in that your body becomes weaker while developing resistance to the protein of the virus, which will create resistance to the overall virus. This is all good and great, but what role do vaccines play in our modern day society? We can see that every day COVID continues to ruin the way our world functions. Though we adapt to the changes, the masks that we wear day by day can't hide the way that this pandemic has affected the world at large. Pandemics throughout history have been known to cause serious damage, but none have ever surmounted to the level that COVID-19 has. We shouldn't frown upon this, however. It is incredible that each and every day we find a way to overcome these challenges proposed by COVID. Every step into the future, we as a species will continue to deal with the threats towards our existence. This is just one obstacle in our journey towards a limitless future. Once again, this has been Rohan, live on the Healthy Human Podcast. I hope you have found this episode as interesting and have learned something from what I've said. If any of what I said intrigued you, I would recommend you do your own research into this interesting field. And once again, remember, happiness is a product of good health.